Hi everyone, welcome to today's GCSE Foundation Revision video. There's 46 days to go into your GCSE Maths exam and today we're going to be focusing on simple interest. So we're going to be looking at percentages and solving questions that involve simple interest. So in this video we're going to go through what simple interest is, I'm going to go through some typical questions and then I'm going to give you some questions to try yourself. So I hope you found this video useful and let's get started. Hi, today we're going to be looking at simple interest. So we've looked at how to find percentages of amounts. Now, sometimes you might be asked to answer questions that involve simple interest and also questions that involve compound interest. Now, we're going to look at compound interest tomorrow and we're going to look at simple interest today. So let's look at how we would approach questions that involve simple interest. So here we've got £600 is invested for two years at 5% per year simple interest. Work out the total interest. Okay, so £600 put in the bank for two years at 5% per year simple interest. So to answer a question like this, what we're going to do is we're going to work out for 5% of the initial amount of money invested is. So we're going to work out what 5% of 600 is. And that's how much interest will be earned every single year. So with simple interest, the amount of interest doesn't change. Whereas whenever we look at tomorrow's topic, which is compound interest, the amount of e interest each year will change. So with simple interest, we'll just work out 5% of the initial amount of money. So let's work out 5% of £600. So let's work out what that is. Now this is going to be a non-calculator question, this one here. Now I'll show you some questions that are calculated and some that are non-calculated in this one. So this is a non-calculator question. So 10% of 600. So I would start off by working out what 10% of 600 is. And to find 10% of 600, I just divide it by 10, so that'll be £60. So 10% of 600 is £60. So 5% of 600 would be half of that, so half of 60 pound would be 30 pound. So that means that 5% of 600 is 30 pound. So 5% of 600 pound is 30 pound. So with simple interest, that means that 30 pound is earned every single year. So it's invested for two years, so it'll earn 30 pound in the first year, and I'll earn 30 pound in the second year. So work out the total amount of interest, we'll just take our 30 pound, and we'll multiply it by the number of years, which is two, and 30 pound multiplied by two will be equal to 60 pound. So it earns 60 pound interest in total. If the question said work out how much money they'll be in the account after two years that'll be 660 pound but in this question it just says the total interest and that's it so that's how you answer questions involving simple interest whenever you're dealing with simple interest the amount of interest earned stays the same every single year whereas tomorrow we'll look at compound interest and that's where if money's invested that each year they earn more interest each year because there'll be more money in the bank account at the start of every single year okay let's look at our next question and this is a question for you to try so it says 400 pound is invested for three years at 10 percent per year simple interest work out how much money is in the account after three years. So this is a non-calculator question. Feel free to press pause and to try this question now. Okay, so if I was doing a question like this, the first thing I would do is work out what the interest earned every single year would be, and that's 10% of the amount invested. So we need to work out 10% of £400. So 10% of 400 pound. Well, to find 10% of a number, you just divide it by 10, so that'd be 40 pound. So that means that 10% of 400 pound is 40 pound. So that means that 40 pound interest is earned every single year, simple interest. So now it's invested for three years. So we now need to multiply this by three to find out how much interest is earned in total. So we'll take our 40 pound, the amount earned every single year, and we'll multiply it by three, and that's equal to 120 pound. So the money earns 120 pound interest in total. And then it says how much money is in the account after three years. So we're going to take the amount of money that was in the account to begin with, which is £400, we're going to add the £120, which is earned in interest, and that's equal to £520, and that's it. And so how much money is in the account after three years? The answer would be £520, and that's it. And if you got that, well done. Okay, let's have a look at another question. So this time we've got Karen invested £900 for three years at 2.4% per annum simple interest. Work out the total amount of interest Carlin earns. Okay, so this question is a calculator question, and if you want to try it yourself, feel free to press pause and work out the answer to this question, otherwise I'm going to go through it now in a second. Okay, so if I was answering a question like this, she has £900 that she's investing and it earns 2.4% per annum simple interest. Because it's simple interest, it's the same amount of interest every single year. So we just need to work out 2.4% of 900 So let's take our £900 and we'll divide it by 100 to find a 1%. So if we do 900 divided by 100, that's equal to £9. And then now we know what 1% is, we can multiply by the percentage we want. So we're going to take our £9 and we're going to multiply by 2.4. And that'll tell us what 2.4% of £900 is. So £9 multiplied by 2.4 is equal to £21.60. So with this being simple interest, it means that this account earns £21.60 interest every single year. Now the money is invested for three years. So because it earns £21.60 per annum, per annum means per year, we're going to do £21.60 multiplied by three because it's invested for three years. So we're just going to do multiply by three and that gives us an answer of £64.80. And because it says how much interest did she earn, which that's going to be £64.80 and that's it. And if you got that, if you tried it yourself and you got that, well done. Okay, let's have a look at our next question. Now this is a calculator question for you to try, so press pause and try this question now. 
So this question said Nina invested £1,500 for four years at 3.5% per annum simple interest. Work out the total amount of money in the account at the end of four years. So again, it's simple interest. So we just need to work out what 3.5% of the money invested is. And that's how much money it'll earn every single year in interest. And then we've been invested for four years. We then just multiply that by four to find out how much interest is earned over the four years. And this is work out the total amount of money in the account after four years. Then you just add it on. So let's do that to begin with. Well, let's work out what 3.5% of £1,500 is. So let's take our £1,500 and divide it by 100 to find 1%. So that's equal to 15. And then we'll multiply by the percentage we want, which is 3.5. So we're going to do 15 multiplied by 3.5. And that's equal to £52.50. And 50 pence. So that's how much interest is earned every single year. Now the money's invested for four years, so we're going to take our 52 pound and 50 pence and we're going to multiply that by four. So we're going to do multiply by four and that's equal to 210 pound. So that means that Nina will earn 210 pound of interest. But the question says work out the total amount of money in the account at the end of four years. So we're going to take the £1,500, we're going to add the £210, and that will give us an answer of £1,710. So that's how much money Nina will have in the account at the end of the four years. And if you got that, well done. Okay, let's have a look at our last simple interest question. Now this question is a problem solving question, and we're told that Evie's saving up to buy a guitar that costs £149. She opens an account at Corbett Bank that pays 6% per annum simple interest. She puts £600 into the account and she doesn't make any deposits or withdrawals, so she just leaves that in the account. And the question says, after how many whole years will Evie have earned enough interest to buy the guitar? So she wants to buy the guitar just using the interest. So feel free to press pause and to work this out now. Okay, so the first thing that we're told is that she puts £600 in the account. So she's putting £600 in the account and it pays simple interest. So it's not compound interest. And that's our video tomorrow. This is simple interest. And she earns 6% per annum simple interest. So let's work out what 6% of £600 is. And that's how much interest you'll earn every single year. So let's work out 6% of £600. So let's take our £600 and let's divide it by 100 to find a 1%. That's going to be £6. So that's 1%, £6. And now we want 6%, so we're going to multiply this by the percentage we want. So we're going to do 6 multiplied by 6, and that's equal to £36. So that means that you will earn £36 interest every single year, because simple interest is the same amount of interest every single year. Now she wants to buy the guitar using the interest, so it costs £149. So we can just count up in 36s. So after one year, so after one year she'll have earned 36 pound that's not enough for the guitar after two years she'll have earned 72 pound again that's not enough money for the guitar after three years she'll have earned 108 pound again that's not enough money for the guitar after four years, she'll have earned £144, which isn't quite enough money for the guitar. So rather than just uh, borrowing £5 or taking £5 out of the account, she's actually going to wait another year. So it'll be five years, uh, because she was only £5 short at that point. But she's going to wait another year, and after another year, that'll be the, that'll be worth £180 of interest. So after how many whole years will Evie have earned enough interest to buy the guitar? That'll be five years. So the answer is five years. She'll have to wait five years to be able to afford the guitar just using the interest. And that's it. And that's it. So in this video, we've looked at simple interest. Simple interest is where the amount of interest stays the same every single year. And you just work out the percentage of how much money is invested. And that's the amount of interest that will be earned every single year. And tomorrow, we're going to look at compound interest. And I prefer compound interest because whenever you invest, put, invest money in the bank, often you'll earn compound interest. And that's a bit more exciting because as time goes on, you earn more and more interest. And uh, tomorrow, we'll be looking at compound interest. And that's it. So in this video, we've gone through simple interest. Hopefully, you find that useful. Now with simple interest, we're not entirely sure what type of situation or context you might be given in the question. So I highly recommend you look at the description below. And in the description below, I've got some practice questions for you on simple interest. Now with simple interest, those practice questions, if you're trying it and you find a particular question you find tricky, there's also video solutions as well. So in that the link, whenever you click it and go to the practice questions, just below the link to the practice questions, there's video solutions. So if you need to check anything, there's a video solution there for it as well. So hopefully you find this video useful on Simple Interest. I'll see you tomorrow for 45 days to go to your GCSE Miles exam. Cheers. Bye.